What if I told you that one of the world's most treasured architectural wonders, the Taj Mahal, almost met its demise in the 1830s? Let me explain. The British East India Company considered dismantling the Taj Mahal and selling its marble in London in the 1830s. Lord William Bentinck, the Governor General at the time, was behind this idea. British historians initially denied the existence of such plans, but circumstantial evidence suggests otherwise. The plan began with the dismantling and sale of the Shahi Hammam, a bathhouse in the Agra Fort. Lord William Bentinck ordered the dismantling and sale of marble from the Agra Fort and the Taj Mahal. The auction of the Agra Fort marble fetched very little money, causing uproar among the British community in India. Prominent English figures like Lord Marcus Beresford expressed outrage at the proposed sale of Taj Mahal's marbles. In 1831, there were rumors of the Taj Mahal being offered for sale, with an offer of two lakhs made for it. 